welcome back to 1001 Spikes. It's got 1001 Spikes. Uh, I believe we found the final boss last time. We oh, cannot yeah. figure out how to hurt it. Now, I've had some time to think on this. And I'm thinking that once it gets to that other form, you might have to hit it from the front instead of the back. And one of the reasons I really like that as an idea of how to hurt it is that it's very difficult to hit it from the front. That seems fair. So it might be upping the, the difficulty by making it harder to hit. You can see the flames stop you from hitting from the front. Yeah. In this mode. I know that when we talked about it before, we were talking about maybe needing to get like a block or something to fall on it, but I don't know how you would go about it. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I, I was thinking about it and like, it's very difficult to pull off. I think now it's, it's in the final part, right? Oh god! You almost died. I should be dead, honestly. Not even to a spike. Of which there are many of them. <laughs> of which there are many. Okay, now we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to do? I do not know, that is... Hey, come the fuck on! Challenging does not even begin to describe it. Yeah, it does. Alright, it begins. And so it begins. <laughs> uh, unrelated side note, water is amazing. Oh no! I find it amusing that you got squished by that block, and the block squished you such that it pushed you then on top of itself. I also found that amusing. Excellent question. No! Nope. Yeah, that didn't work well. I wonder if it'll be like Bowser in Mario 3 where you have to get on the drop of the floor. Ah. That would be a ridiculous old school throwback. You're right, but I, I can sort of see it. No, I mean, this game is nothing but an old school throwback, so... It's true. Nope! <laughs> I like when you get halfway under and then you're like, this isn't gonna work, so you try to go back. Yeah, it's no good. It's, it's not. It's not good. Can I stand on top of that thing? No, it shoots up spikes after you hit it. Try it myself. I'm at this thing. Oh. And it turns out it shoots up spikes after you stand on it. So. Yeah, I knew that. I thought it was just after you hit the little red thing. You know, this thing must have like some really serious nerve damage, probably from stuff falling on it over the millennia. You say that. Well, it doesn't shoot spikes up from you standing on it until, like, a long time after you stop standing on it. Like, it's like, oh, I think there's somebody standing on me. Now I'm wondering if I was just going too slow, because that time... When the spikes come up, it doesn't take damage. But maybe it is the exact same thing, but I have to be faster. Oh. And also not get hit by falling blocks. Or giant angry gods. <laughs> is it dead? Is it, is it fucking dead? <laughs> nope. He's just very, very angry. That was so unfair! That was amazing! I even saw what it was doing and got up on a block! Yup, and it was like, haha, fooled you, you're supposed to get up on top of me so I can just kill you with my spikes. Well... I mean, 
I, I did something. Yeah, I mean, that was definite progress. God, I'm thinking of how to do this faster, and it's so unsafe, it's not even funny. <laughs> but it worked! That's... <laughs> that's See, now, now I'm back that behind it. That was close. That was horribly close. Ah! Nine eight hundred seventy three lives. No, no. Just remember, Whoops. your like seventy year old dad did this. Why is he he's seventy? Because he's old. It's like a minimum age requirement for geezerhood. What makes you think he's a geezer? Because I said so. Oh. That would have been so perfect. <laughs> See, I think that's what was happening. I don't think I have to hit it from the front. I think the spikes are just coming up too fast. Um. This is riveting. That does explain that bored metal hole going through me. I know I'm bored. <laughs> you don't look anything like a board. You are neither flat nor wooden. You're stiff as a board, lies a feather. One of those things is true. <laughs> this music is amazing. It really is. I really don't like when you die to the falling blocks. Neither do I! Like, it's somehow better when you die to spikes. I don't like when I die at all. But when you die to the fly falling blocks, I just feel cheated. I was promised a thousand one spikes. Not a thousand one squished jellies. Good, there aren't a thousand one squished jellies. There's like seven of them. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pattern now. I did notice that. Got me in its death throes last time. Yep. I don't know what to do. Wow. Oh hey, this shit's worth money. Oh, but the skulls stop me. Okay. There's a high score in the far right. Wow. The fact that there's a high score over there, or that the player probably knows it before anyone watching. Uh. No, the fact that this is a, a high score thing where it just fountains gemstones at you. Well, that was fun. You got 10,000. Motherfucker. Now, you are in trouble. You have to run the whole way back. <laughs> ah, there's your mouse. Go to the, the mouse. mouse Mouse play save. Oh god. Um. Ah! She's trying to follow me and I do not appreciate it. That's entirely accurate, although, for the record, I heard she's trying to follow me, and I wondered who in the hell you were talking about and why it mattered. <laughs> that thing made me nervous. Yeah, lost artifact, the key of Bukampa. Congrats. I guess. <laughs> I'm still holding right just in case. <laughs> Antarctica unlocked. Tina Hawkins unlocked. Two weeks later, in the suburbs of Bristol. Oh. 
hat's all flapping in the wind. On your motorbike. Hell yeah, credits. Oh, it's playing the theme, but all slow. Ah, uh, it's playing. It's, it's pointing out a lot of deaths. I don't think it's gonna go through all the hundreds of deaths that I went through there. Heaven. I wonder if everyone has different endings. That is an excellent question. Although, I would assume that since everyone had... Since, since nobody had a different beginning... Tons of people had different beginnings. Oh, when yeah. I say ending, I mean this. Like an ending video. You're right, there were a bunch of different beginnings. I forgot about them. <laughs> Sometimes I'm dumb, leave me alone. It's a problem. I suffer. I suffer. You also suffer. Stop throwing my hard-earned gems. Take that, Dad! You jerk. Turns out Samu your Wasada. dad is the zombie. <laughs> but this music's awesome. I the world was on fire. You no, know, it's sunset. Boatroot Pfeiffer. Looks an awful lot like the uh, nuclear blast in uh, Terminator. And the world wasn't on fire then either. It was totally on fire then. Not the world. Every part of it that mattered. Are you talking about when the machines bombed, all, bombed the planet? No, I'm talking about when she keeps having the visions of the... Machines bombing the planet? Uh, nuclear blast. She's standing at the chain link fence, and there's mom and little kids playing at the park, and she's like, "You have to run!" She's shaking the fence, "You have to run!" Mm. And and nobody can hear her because she's not actually making any noise because it's a dream. And the blast goes off, and then she's the skeleton flapping in the breeze off the fence. That's funny. Yeah. Search for the key of Serpentis. It's hidden somewhere within Yukampa. Oh, I did get the key to Yukampa. Actually starts now. Huh. I'm Eamon Hawkins. I hate my dad. Ah, oh, he's such a square. Huh? What's this? That's Avon's voice now. Oh. <laughs> it's a condom. Mama had a baby and its head popped off. Head popped off? Papa. Mama had a baby and said Papa. Damn! I can't believe it. You got me again, man. <laughs> so you made it alive, have you? Surprising, but I'm proud that my idiot son could even survive the depths of those ruins. This is a little gift for your efforts. I may have mentioned that I nearly died 15 times in that dungeon, but I never said that I gave up. I bet you thought you'd finally beat me by clearing those ruins. Well, sorry to rain on your prey, but you haven't trumped me yet, dummy. Haha! -ha. What a horrible father! You are the worst! Anyway, if you really think you're man enough to best your legendary father, you'd better try again. With love, Dad. Light turns out, Avon goes to bed. Damn you, Dad! I've become so numb. I can't feel you there. Add the car, please! Oh, Silver, don't run, you'll fall and hurt yourself! Huh? <sighs> this was a game. It was. Parts of it were difficult. Aiden, what's the matter? Thanks for everything, sis. Going. Dad's a douche. I know. You're leaving? You're more than welcome to stay longer. I unlocked her. Silver would like that too, you know? I want to unlock Silver. 
Well, you'll have to play it through six more times. Sorry, buddy, but I have to get a move on. Tell you what, next time I'll teach you how to use my throwing knives, all right? There's no way that could go horribly wrong. Tina, I'll leave this with you. Is this? It is. It's my penis. Put it in a corner of the museum or something. My penis. This is the key of Ukampa, isn't it? It is, but it's also my penis. <laughs> Tina, the car is ready. Oh, hello, Avon. Going somewhere? Did you see his eyes plug out? Yep. See ya, Edward. Hope my stay wasn't too much of a bother. Take care of my sis. Silver, keep up your studies. You'll be all grown up before I know it, because I'm never coming back. Aiden, where are you off to this time? I have a feeling the old man hasn't kicked the bucket just yet, and this could be my last chance to give him what he deserves. This dollar bill. <laughs> I'm going to search for our idiot father. He's a douche. In the Antarctic. This is a douche. Maybe it'll let me wear that parka now. Or is this like setting up a sequel that just was never made? I'm telling you, it's like the whole hidden rest of the game. Another 43 levels. Two million and two spikes. Whoa, shit! We'll check this out next time! Next time! Next time!